In this video, we're going to go over a for loop. A for loop is actually something very important to know. Those are used all the time in coding. It's like one of the two or three main building blocks of Java code. So the way it works is you type in for, start your parentheses, and there are three parts inside this. There's the initialization, the Boolean expression. Let's add up the numbers 1 through 10. And then there's the post body action. So what's going on here is I initialize I. I'll say, hey, I want it to have an integer I, and we'll start it out at 0. Then I'm adding up 1 through 10. So I actually go one number past 10. I'll explain that in just a second. And then I increment I by 1 each time. I could have typed, here I could have typed in I, er, yeah, i equals i plus 1, or i plus equals 1, but just the convention is normally i plus plus, which increments i by 1 each time. So I also need a integer up here. We'll start that integer, we'll call it sum, and we'll start out at 0. So, what's going to, oh, sum plus equal i. Or I could type in sum equals sum plus i, but this is the way that convention is, and I think that's really the main way that you should see it. So what happens is i starts out at 0, sum is 0, so sum equals itself plus 0, so sum is 0. i is incremented by 1, sum becomes 0 plus 1, i is incremented again, so i is 2. Well, sum is 1, so sum equals 1 plus 2, and I'll keep going. And at the very end... It checks to, like, if i is equal to 10 at the end of it, it will say, okay, we don't need to do this anymore. We can get out of this for loop because i is not less than 10. So I would have, in this place, I couldn't do i less than 10. I could do i less than or equal to 10, but the convention is to just go up the one more number and just have less than sign. Sum is, so then we'll print the screen to the, uh, console so the user can see it. And do this on my calculator beforehand, we should get 55. Sum is 55. And also add bigger numbers, I can say 1 through 1000 just by typing in 1001 there. Alright, sum of that is 500,500. Uh, I'm going to assume that's right, I didn't check it beforehand. Now, if you're really sharp, you may have noticed that I actually did a little bit of a useless step there, starting now i at 0, which is generally done for most things. But for this, I can actually start i out at 1. Now, the reason I start out at 0 most of the time, well, oh yeah, yeah, 1 and 0 did give me the same thing, that's right. Oh, is the way I can, the reason I can start i out at 0 is because computers start counting at 0 normally, and that makes this statement easier. Because if I want to iterate through something 10 times, I just put 10 there. Because it'll do once for i equals 0, the second time it does it, i will be 1, all the way till the 10th time I do it, i will be less than 10. Anyways, so that's the reason that's normally done. Uh, you might want to pick some smaller numbers and trace it by hand. Next video, we'll go over a little bit more complicated of an example of a for loop, but it's still pretty simple. Anyways, if you like this video, there is actually a like button down below. It's a little thumbs up. It turns green if you hit it. It's really cool to watch. Just go ahead and hit that. And thanks for watching.